All right, welcome. So this is video two in the series of videos explaining uh, the job that you have been hired for. So really quickly to move on and to continue, you have um, been taken through just the overall high level understanding of what this job entails, the master price list that you're looking at right now on my screen, and then obviously what you're doing, which is taking from the raw price list that we have received from manufacturers, um, quite a few of them, as you can see in the folder that you probably have looked at. And uh, again, just taking this information, simplifying and copying it, uh, really just transferring it over to the master price list, which we need to use um, in the last step, which is running it through Price Checker 2. So, really quickly. Um, uh, picking up kind of where we left off. So you have the price list, all of them are slightly different, the information, though all goes kind of the same place. Um, what I'm gonna do is copy and paste and show you how I pull information over. Uh, this is actually a little bit of a tricky spreadsheet here. Uh, I'll explain that and then it really furthermore elaborate on, on how you can make these decisions. Um, and that's the expectation is that uh, in going through this, very quick tutorial and having these explanations that I'm about to give you, uh, obviously uh, understanding them, um, and then furthermore, uh, just making sure that the right information gets put in the right columns, because if that's not the case, uh, we could potentially lose quite a bit of money. Uh, so just uh, attention to detail, obviously, is why you've gotten this job and what you've been kind of selected for. So we are grateful that there is a timeline. Uh, it turns it around quickly, but we're also expecting that uh, Please take your time and just make sure that the attention and detail um, in doing this process and job the right way is at the forefront of everything that you do for the next few days for us. Uh, again, as I mentioned before, we're looking for people to come back to. Uh, we are hiring uh, pretty constantly for multiple roles and positions, and we're, we're always looking for people in circumstances like this to surprise us to do the work very efficiently and well so that potentially we can come back to you later on. Um, so. I'm going to pull in, uh, again, the item number, stock number, if it is present. Let's just uh, kind of clarify. It may not be present. Who knows? Obviously, we've all cheated and looked at this, though. Uh, believe it or not, you do not have to, in most cases, um, convert a spreadsheet in this form to Google Sheets. Uh, again, I would prefer if you can do what I'm doing, which is just copying, dragging, copying, and pasting, you not create another Google Sheet in this folder, please. Um, I don't need you know multiple copies of Google Sheets for these price lists because again the whole part of this is to create a master price list with all of these in there. So uh, if you have a hard time, let's just say it's not letting you copy paste and access it's, this information, it's okay. You can open it with Google Sheets as you see right up here. It's just going to create a copy, a usable, workable copy. Uh, that, that's fine. Uh, but again, it it should not be required. So. I'm using control C because I'm recording this and I can't right click. So control C, I've copied the item number here. You notice there's a gap. I'll deal with that in a second. Um, I'm gonna go back to my master spreadsheet, item number here, and I'll paste that in. All right, back to the, the gap. This might, uh, we'll get rid of this. This was me testing out the system. Um, so as you see a gap, that, that's gonna happen probably because a lot of these price lists contain multiple different types of products and different, uh, not categories necessarily, but you know, thinking about a protein bar, bar versus protein powder versus a pre-workout versus uh, a post-workout recovery supplement. You know, there's all these different types of products um, that even within a certain company, they're, you know, they're kind of in different areas. So uh, this would represent a heading. So as you look back here, that gap is right here, and it's the heading um, for this particular price list. So that's okay. Well, I'm going to continue to move forward. I'll deal with that at the very end so that everything moves in the right way. I will copy and paste the product descriptions. Again, as you remember, product descriptions a lot of times um, are essentially just the name of the actual product itself. So we will copy. Make sure, obviously, that you're copying in the exact same way. Um, this item number matched this product description. So it's really important that I not have dropped it, for example, down here in cell three. You know, then it's gonna be off, then it's not gonna be able to find and pull the important information that we need. 
So that's the product description. I've just copied and pasted all this stuff. It is literally that simple most of the time. So it's pretty much that simple though. UPC, extremely important. That's about the only way um, that you're gonna be able to, or we're gonna be able to read these products appropriately uh, as it relates to Amazon. Uh, that's the number it's kind of, uh, the, that's the, the convention that it's using to compare prices and to compare whether this is a good opportunity for us. Uh, go back. Let's see what else we can find. Case size. So this is interesting. Um, a, a lot of times case sizes are how we purchase things, uh, though we don't sell them in case sizes, uh, probably more than half the time. So you'll notice here very simply, they've got the unit and then the case size. So in this case, there are 12 units. Uh, the case size is 1.6 ounces. So it's just telling us very simply kind of, you know, that basic information. So uh, what, what we'll do in this case is I'll go ahead and copy everything in. Uh, realistically, though, the only thing I needed would be the 12, the 6, the 12, 12. So how many actually, believe it or not, that's, that's, that's all I would actually really need. So for, for this example, it, it, it's not as important. This is more for us internally to go back through. Uh, price checker doesn't it, it has a spot for it and it uses it <clears throat> but as you note um, this is just uh, more for us internally so I copied in just like that um, the purchase wholesale price and the retail cost um, so as you look back this one again this is why I selected this one um, if you can do this one which obviously we need you to do uh, all the others are going to be much more much simpler and straightforward so the interesting thing here and, and why I need to go through it, for this entire case, which contains 12 units, this case is going to cost us $15.89. Um, for, for a little bit of background, though, um, it's telling me here that in this column, each one of those cost us big dreams a dollar and 32 cents all right so this again this is how this is how much it's going to cost us to buy one of these cases that have 12 units in them this is how much it's going to cost per unit all right and then again to follow up this is actually the retail price of each individual unit so we buy it at 132 this company is suggesting we sell this at 199 Okay, so this is relevant. We're gonna copy and paste. That's the retail price. So I've drug over the, the retail price, the MSRP. I've copied that in there, boom, perfect. All right, quickly while I'm here, you'll notice there, there was not a map price. So on this one in particular, it's gonna be blank and that's okay. Um, now, you have two different prices here. What, what you have to do is you have to, to figure out and you have to make the decision. So um, based on this, we're going to be selling this at uh, this particular price, this unit price. Okay. So um, and we're going to be potentially selling them as individuals. All right. To check, you actually have to do another step in this case. And this, again, this is, this is an anomaly. This is not a, necessarily always how they, they, they're, they're showing up. So I'm going to open up Amazon. Uh, I think Amazon.com. I copied that UPC. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to, let's see what happens when I paste this UPC. Let's see if I can find it. So I can't find it. All right. So that's just an example. Boom. Can't find it based on the UPC. Let's go back and find something else. All right, let's find apricot, walnut, and coconut. I'll copy that, paste that in. And then the company, if I'm not mistaken, let's go back. The company, 18 rabbits. All right, that's right here, 18 rabbits. And they're in the grocery category. So I'm gonna type in front of this. Let's be, let's be intelligent about searching. 18 rabbits, apricot, walnut, and coconut. Let's see what we can find. Boom. There it is. All right. So this is extremely important. And this is something that I need to clarify. 
Um, you notice here, this product is being sold as a pack of 12. Check this out. We can, we're buying it as a pack of 12, okay? Again, though, look right below. This is also being sold as um, what looks like one bar. It's not true though. So this is a 12 count, okay? So this one is a little bit tricky, all right? And this is why I'm bringing it up. So again, we're buying this and we're potentially gonna sell this as a 12 count. Let's look back down again. 18 rabbits or organic bars. All right, let's see how many of these are selling because it looks again like this is it's just one bar, but my guess is it's not. It's just poor, poor listening. Um, let's see if we can find some information. Based on the price, I guess what I'd say is they're they're selling uh, 12 of these, but it's a pretty bad listing. It doesn't actually say how many there are. So um, after looking through this, uh, my best guess and my gut says that we're probably going to sell this in the 12 pack we buy it in. Okay, so this is extremely important. The purchase price in this case, after I've done that research, which you're going to have to do in these circumstances, uh, it's not complicated, but you do have to find this information. All right. In this case, this is actually what I'm probably most concerned about because when um, Price Checker 2 takes this information, compares it to Amazon, it's going to pull that, oh my goodness. Um, they're buying it at $15.89 and it's selling for, uh, I believe we saw what, $20, $21. Uh, that's how it's going to tell us whether this is a good opportunity or not. So in this case, we're selling them as 12s. We're buying them as 12 units. All right. We're not going to sell them individually, though. This is great information. The unit price per each unit, it doesn't help us a whole lot here. The sale price per unit doesn't really help us a whole lot here. It helps me find my retail price. But again, it depends on what Amazon is doing doing in this case. So I'll copy that wholesale price. I'm going to go back over. And in this case, I'm going to paste that in here. Boom. Paste. Okay. Uh, in a further video, what we'll, what I'll cover in the next video is um, essentially in price checker. Um, I, I'll, I'll show you how to select the appropriate um, columns. And uh, in this case, I'll, I'll show you how to select the purchase and wholesale price so that it compares the correct prices from our sheets uh, to Amazon itself. All right, we're going to sign off for now and we will catch back up in just a second. Uh, I guess the only last thing prior to signing off is remember this gap does us no good. Uh, what I do is just hi highlight that. I'm going to right click it and then delete the row. All right, that gives me no spaces. It's just kind of useless in a waste. So uh, I do that whenever possible, please. Uh, all right, we'll talk to you in just a minute.